Alright guys, welcome back to some more X4. So we just captured another behemoth and a phoenix, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I was just looking at this. So Boland is the new behemoth. It's level 3 engines, tier 2 paranoid shields, and them. We'll upgrade the thrusters. We'll upgrade all the shields. Yeah, lovely, it had one mark one. That's fine, we'll upgrade that. We'll leave it with the main battery. <coughs> Give it the proton pulse, same as everyone else. It's paranoid pulse turrets. And give it flak. Sure that it's upgraded. Use this to pay for it. All right. <laughs> Send him off to do that. Phoenix E. Gamerid is the Phoenix. Here are twos. Leave that as is. Got your main weapons. Proton Pulse, Proton Pulse, you got auto cannons. You got various different auto cannons. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Again, get rid of all these because. We're not going to use them. We're going to make 1.7 million off that. Sure. That's a reason in itself. Okay, so he's going off to that. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to get the Colossus to move back up. To here. that going. Got 31 fighters at the moment. Kind of want to get a couple of Corvettes because the, the Cobra's never built. Fine, I don't need Argon Blasters. You can have Bolt Repeaters on the front. <clears throat> Does it give it all flak? All flak is fine. Don't need any defense drones. Mixed crew, 2.4 million each. Let's order a four. Yeah, four Cobras and four Cerberus. Um, at least the Cerberus will build eventually. Mm. 
The looking away of her factory is doing a nice job. No one's wondering, I always leave a little bit of money in there because it allows the um, manager to do the, the buy orders off of our own guys. He only needs like one credit, but still. <coughs> what are you waiting on? Advanced electronics. I'd like to get that done. I am going to buy a... Trade ship. Travel speed of 1100, sure we'll go with that. One million is fine. Let's get that going. Lead is moving out. I figured I should let the uh, AI, AI pilot the Colossus a little bit and get his experience up for completing orders. <coughs> Hopefully. And I'm tired. So uh, we now have six destroyers in the fleet. So we'll be able to line them up on these Xenon stations and take them out a bit quicker. Hopefully. by all the advanced electronics and then you're going to just dock there for the moment I haven't been keeping up with my thumbnails. Being very unprofessional. The Erin is still on fire. <laughs> Which is great. Still haven't started out all this autopilot nonsense around the gate. Go. <coughs> oh. Don't tell me you're auto saving now. I started up the game and made coffee, so it's been running for about half an hour. <coughs> Entering system. Wretched skies. Alright, everyone's in. Hmm. 
Alright, and the two guys are just about there. Great. We'll get them refit back with us, and then um, we're going to start... Well, we're going to finish clearing out the systems. Hey, Miggles. Uh, well, I'm not even in the pilot seat. That's what I mean by autopilot. Sir. <clears throat> I'm letting our captain fly it. Hey, Boron. That we're low on resources. Don't mind us. We're not doing a mass gas mining operation at all. <clears throat> are all your ships captain by cowards? Most of them. That's why I give him direct orders. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for him. I wonder does the does the Aaron have slower engines? Interesting. <laughs> we can do about that. Two Queen's Guard. <clears throat> oh. Well, I say there's not much we can do about it, but... Problem is, I've just filled up the crew on this. So what I could do is transfer crew over to the Colossus. We'll get the Phoenix to go over and collect this crew. <clears throat> <laughs> the undocking process takes a little while. So what's going on there? <clears throat> there we go. I think that that's such a great addition. To be able to save your crew. Entering wretched skies ten. How is the turn going? Oh, that's not too bad. Be back over at the um, thing pretty soon. Come on, Phoenix, get into travel drive. Then the, the behemoth, Oland, will uh, meet us back at our fleet. Did I get the rep with Antigone? No. Uh, 
Um. for him to get there just in case it uh, acts all funny. Definitely be your first order. <clears throat> Let me do this instead. Get rid of that order. There we go. Right, that should be working. So you see, yeah, this is what I was wondering about. You see how he's moving off that direction? It's because this ship is rotating and he's on a dock order. You'll see it when it happens with a player that uh, no matter what way you turn, they stay in the same position. Okay, I'm Sir. bored. Entering system, Litany of Fury. <coughs> you can see their air <laughs> running out. All right. And of course, because I started piloting the ship, they all fall out of formation. Cool. They won't react until I get it technically out of system. Probably. If this was the uh, AI, they would be right beside us. It's very unfortunate when you're going into a fight. So, what do we got? We got five stations total to clear. We've cleared this system technically. 
Although this station's not, it doesn't have the admin module yet, so uh, we'll get that. Pretty sure that has all its resources. Yeah, it has the last of the Claytronics on the way, and then the rest is just for weapons. Which is perfectly fine. We should have no capital ship interference up here. <clears throat> we can just clear it out. Might as well start with this one. Xenon defense platform. I want to make sure that we own the system. Because <clears throat> the Paranid are building a bunch of stations. I don't mind that, because if we own the station we get the uh, taxes. From Finance Hub. Also, the more stations they build, the more our traders can sell to them when we start building production stations here. I am probably going to switch over to Star Citizen later, just as an FYI. <clears throat> and then maybe tomorrow, either tomorrow or Saturday, we're going to be doing Men of War 2 and uh, Transporter. Fleet form up on us. She takes command, we'll set him to have no orders. Nomad is there, that's fine. Another behemoth is on the way. And how are you doing? <clears throat> you collected everyone and you're on the way back. Perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is in bits today again. Take the last of my meds, which have not helped. Two of our Corvettes are building as well. Alright, both Phoenix are here. Um, Marcos. I think they're the standard guns. Xenon defense.
Give me a drop down menu or something, please. Alright, we're going to do our usual go in, take out the big guns manually. Then we're going to line up all of the destroyers to open up with as many guns as possible. Or just get them to attack. Pretty sure there's a gun like somewhere around here. Maybe I just can't see it. <clears throat> 17 kilometers from the back ones. I want to see where the near ones are. kilometers there we go I think we have a 10k range on these guns if they're the standard guns so they don't have the field pen to do a lot more damage. <clears throat> The crew member glitch is still there anyway. Uh, can we get a lock on the other herd that we know is there somewhere? Xenon defense platform. Actually, can I change that uh, crosshair? And I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Input device. Notifications. Row backgrounds. Row titles. Drop down. Low chart, lighter, change the shield bar color, graphs, graphs, status, status, weapon slots, budget, order, license, equipment, quality, resource, 
Target monitor, nope. Message ticker. Dialogue menu. Target system. No. Crosser. Save. <laughs> Is it an actual restart that's required? We'll do that real quick. Not gonna take too long. I say that, but the cloud sync takes ages on Steam for some reason. Except this time. Nope. Still synchronizing cloud. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'll keep it that color, but that's not what I wanted. <sighs> right. So it's not the crosser, it's the mouse pointer? It's not the weapon crosser, is it? Eat, own indicator. Mouse steering line. Oh, here we go. First person crosser. No, that's...
Hold on, let's go through the rest. Not like weapon. There's a weapon thing here. This, but no, that's the actual. <clears throat> I need to find like the in range and out of range thing that would that would show us what uh, what we're looking for. Right, we're on hollow map, we don't need that. Dark UI factions. Player activity, we've changed that already. That's the end, so it's... It is probably part of this. Not the Seder ring. Not current mode. Is the heat itself. Crosshair weapon. Duh. I would imagine that's it, right? So if we go with that. And then weapon inactive is grey. I think I think that's the one I'm after. Or is it like targeting? My steering line is that. We'll change the weapon to green. But it's the uh, mouse pointer circle I kind of want to change so that it's easier to see. Fine, I'll do that. So it's actually this I want to change. So that's like Xenon defense platform. So when you hover over something like this, I want it to stand out, especially when the um, the weapons are there too. Uh, let me restart one more time. A save game so it didn't have to sink. That disappears. <clears throat> it's 
slowly disappearing every time something in the background changes. No, okay. I'll have to figure that out at some point. Xenon defense platform. Already. <clears throat> so we've taken out all of them. Completely missing that. Fine. With these turrets over here, can we hit them? Alrighty, and then they're done. They're done. Oh, we got them all? Cool. On top, you don't have any large shirts. All destroyers engage. I say you should be engaging. That's something I need to check now, is that uh, everyone's turrets are actually armed because we had to disarm them for... I can't even remember what reason now. Oh, that's right. The boarding operation. Because our people don't recognize the fact that we want the thing we're boarding to stay alive. That's right. Crazy concept. Where we can get the flak going to. I think this is a flak one. No drones. Hmm. 
Cool, our defense drone is launched, so it's about to die. Boy, we're not launching fighters. Xenon defense platform. Everyone is starting to line up, which is great. Oh, it does have drones, it's just not launching them. So I'll clearly have to mess around a bit further and figure out which um, pod element that is. I like the mouse pointer, right? Did I miss that? Sorry, I know I'm going into this again, but... Frame, table, row... Buttons? No. Check boxes? No. Flow charts. Help overlay sliders. Shield bars. Hints. Graphs. Status bar. Scroll bar. Weapon. LSO node? Nope. <coughs> All options menu, player cover, ship retrieval. VR pointer. You have all your target systems and you have your crosshair. That color, isn't it? The Azure Dark Alpha? Isn't that kind of the color of the pointer? Oh, the mouse. But I guess I could hover over it, couldn't I? Since it's right here. <laughs> that would make sense, wouldn't it? <clears throat> These are first person crosshair. Not the hollow map. Signal leak guidance. Journal first person arrow. Weapon pointer in range and weapon pointer out of range. Is the actual two dots. That's fine. I know what they are. And we're down at the end. Mm. Is it this? 
I don't think I don't think it's this. Crosshair indicator. for that. shooting each other. Now you can get lined up because you couldn't get lined up because he was beside you. Same with the two Phoenix. Oh uh, yeah, of course, we're not on the plane, so I gave him an order to move over a bit, but it's not an order to move over a bit, it's an order to move way down there. I just want you to move over there. I just want you to move there. You know what? You can move to there and you can move to there and that's fine. Go attack the thing. Hey Overlord, what are you doing? I can get those Hurts underneath firing as well. Excellent. So at least now everyone is firing their main guns. Let's get into this on a modded plate. Nice. We are slightly modded. Finally launching of those drones. Looks like it. We did a surgical strike on these two Xenon sectors and took out their shipyard and wharf. Trying to gather resources to max out your Titan with exceptional mods. Titan? Are you playing the EVE mod? There we go. Yeah, nice. I would still be playing the EVE mod except um, 7.0 is really good. <laughs> Good, so the behemoth and one of the phoenix are still firing at the station. I guarantee you can't though, can you? Q 
Give me the homeworld disc. Just give me the homeworld disc. Let me select a, a move distance and then a height. Not much to ask for, right? Okay, that's a solution and all, right? But that's that's a that's an next worst solution. Give me a different solution. I'm gonna move everyone around. I'm abiding the beta for the time being as I really don't like crisis events since it'll happen when you reach a certain point. Um, no, it, they've changed it. That you get um, you get a message from Boso when you reach that point and you have to accept it. Or at least there's a line to delay it. Is what they said. That was in um, one of the patches. You know, even so. You want to wait? Wait. It's still in beta. Those things are going to change. There's no rush. It's not going anywhere. So is the crisis. Val. Also, I can tolerate. Val, on the other hand, no. Right, you guys are all in position. Excellent. Oh, you're even close enough to get a, some sort of cannon up and running. Cool. So this, this is the next thing they need to sort out. Is that, okay, the destroyers are attacking uh, with their main weapons, that's fine. But once they destroy a section, they don't move to target another section. They just sit there and then can't fire. So, you know, it's a slight bit of an issue. Especially in a station with this kind of geometry. Where destroying the first section is going to... Oh, that's right, you have to pay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone mentioned that. Alright, drone thing is dead. I was going to say, if my flak turrets could actually shoot at the drones, because they've nearly gone through the shields of those turrets. see I don't think he's firing yeah, his tur one of his turrets is firing but his main guns aren't firing he's firing he should be firing at least the turret is firing and then what about you okay we're not too bad I got them in decent positions to fire at it. The pay method is completely useless. The crisis will happen regardless, even if you pay me. Oh, really? I haven't, I haven't gotten here. I'm taking my time because we want to go through X2 and X3 as well. So I don't have 10 hours a day to play video games. I wish I did.
every little helps. Our other phoenix is now here as well. Sweet. Our defense station is nearly down. should I get them like so let's say if I remove all orders and then I say to them attack all surface elements will that change how they act they are moving now yeah I can understand that oh that's fire <laughs> I thought he was shooting something from out there. It's not. It's the fire from his engine. Uh, okay. Let's see what they do on this. You can test it at this station because there's not much left. You see, they're... They're maneuvering now, even though they're just on an attack all surface elements command. But when they're on a standard attack command, they don't maneuver like this. So, kind of curious. But also, they're barely shooting. I've seen the Phoenix fire off one shot from a turret. Well, I presume you used the Doomsday on it. Oh, the Phoenix is going back there? Oh, yeah, Phoenix is going back for repairs. That's fine. But yeah, again, they're, they're not really doing anything. So, again, I'm going to go... Remove all orders. Attack. They should rotate for their main guns. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they need to start it, so... There we go. I have destroyers sitting around the station. This Phoenix... Could hit that, but it looks like he's aiming for that and can't shoot through this, but will not maneuver around it. Or will he? Will he? Go on. This guy and this guy should be already firing at that. They're facing directly at that. That guy's above. He should also just be firing down on the station. 
Not even their turrets are firing at the station at the moment. The large turrets that are all set to attack capital ships first. So, there's still issues. You took out that big Xenon ship with the big main gun when I got lucky and I knocked the shields down to damage his guns. Oh, the CPU ship? Yeah, that was nasty. If you can get around and take out its engine, it's simple. I was messing around with that. Uh, I used an Oracle just to go around and uh, take out its engine. Then you can do what you want to it. Now, which race are you playing? Phoenix is actually though, oh my god, they're actually shooting at it. Alright, so that Phoenix can get shots in there. Turrets on that Phoenix have decided to open up. And the two behemoths are... I don't know. Yeah, so like that, that behemoth yeah. e. He's an attack order to attack that station and he's been staring at it for I don't know how long He did a custom Argon start. Oh, okay So he didn't pick one of the actual factions at first The other Phoenix is coming back now Been uh, quote unquote repaired Right Defense station down, one more to go before they don't have any say in this system. And it's that one. Xenon defense platform. So you guys are all going to follow me. Start with them as friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure the station is destroyed. Yes, because it's grayed out. This is the build storage. That'll disappear after a while. Uh, all those are little drones. Don't worry yeah. about them. They'll disappear after a while. Platform. We're going to go around the solar power plant and shoot the defense platform. Even if grayed out, they have no ships to um, supply the station. Which is the thing, because we took out the shipyard and the wharf. Um, any ships that they want to use to supply this area have to come from, well, all the way over here.
they might make it to here. But the paranoid, I think, will deal with them. Xenon defense platform. Save one for the longest time and the ship would not stop coming yet. Oh yeah, they'll they'll continue sending them. Here's the uh, N going to its attack position. Because it can only attack from up there for some reason. We'll just stop so our flak turrets get a better uh, shot at them. Green is just going to end up as a colored mess with me trying to figure out which which, which um, element is which. No turrets on top, okay. Has all its turrets on the bottom. Question, if I give you what what part of the plane is this thing on? Phoenix, if I give you an order to fly there. Oh, it's below the plane. Okay. What does that mean? That means that we can just send everyone in in a line. And probably not get them killed. Maybe uh, they'll take a few shots, but we'll take out the guns. We'll dip underneath. Well, they set up in a firing line and then I'm gonna move them in slowly and get all their guns firing got my rip high enough to get the griffin that I might need to grind all the credits for a while as it is really expensive the griffin what the hell is the griffin <laughs> Antigone's XL battleship. Oh, it's modded, right? Gotcha. Is that part of VRO? Or is it a separate mod? The 
why wouldn't you target the large turret that's right next to the large turret I just destroyed? I don't know, man. I haven't um, touched VRO um, since the update, since the beta. Hey, Carson. Yes, we uh, finished the Homeworld 3 campaign in seven hours. Um, if you're buying the game for the campaign, I would not recommend Paying full price, I'd wait for sale. Beautiful game, plays okay. Has all the homeworld stuff. Um, AI is a little bit lacking in areas. Story's okay. The other battleship is the Corona, yeah. Hidden? No. I have two videos up on YouTube. Hold on, let me... Let me get you the actual time here. Um, the first video is 2 hours and 41 minutes. The second video is 4 hours and 46 minutes. That includes all cutscenes. Uh, looking at the roguelike mode. And... Generally just taking our time. I think it's 11 missions, 10 or 11 missions. A lot of cutscenes. They could have halved the amount of cutscenes and let, let you actually play the missions, make the missions longer. But they could, they could have actually just dragged out the missions and it would have been better. Um, or they could have added two or three more missions and just cut half the cutscenes. Um, well, there's the multiplayer, which I've heard people say is a bit of a mess, and then there's the roguelike mode. Or the, uh, the war game mode, or whatever it's called. And that's the mode that's going to get... That's the single-player co-op mode, if you want to do it that way. Uh, that's going to get a bunch of new factions and stuff added to it over time. I was really hoping for like a dynamic world map or something, you know? If they did it like like um, Gates of Hell and Men of War do for uh, World War Two, you know, give you a couple of sectors to fight over and then like do attack and defend or something, something just to add to the replayability. It needs something else. I don't think that War Games mode is going to hold people long term. Mods are going to be huge, of course. I think the, the modding is going to be great. Sounds like a letdown? A little bit. Like, don't get me wrong. The game itself is good. But it seems like a lot of uh, publisher ideas. Got in the way. Like the gameplay is good. The it's it's a good home world game. Gameplay yeah, was beautiful. Elon defense platform. The mechanics work. A uh, campaign is short, but all as someone else said, all home world campaigns are short, but it is. It's seven hours, seven hours on medium. By the end of it, I didn't really give a damn who the the antagonist was. Because with all the cutscenes and everything, it's like, like, I don't really care about the enemy. I just know I have to destroy them because they're the enemy. 
I didn't care who about any of their anything. <laughs> Be frank. Cod stuff's not good. RTS should have been eight on campaign, and I don't care for the PvP on player stuff. Yeah. Like I said, I, I think um, they could have spread out that campaign a lot more. They could have delved into the enemy, because the potential for that enemy was good. Using progenitor tech, you know, all their um, hyperspace shenanigans, and... I think using progenitor tech is kind of a cop-out too, though. They just use, like, old-style models. Don't get me wrong, I love the cutscenes, but let me play the damn game. <laughs> Did you know? There's, there's telling a story and then there's forcing a story in the middle of your game. But actually, I kind of want to go back and do the other homeworlds to compare how much... Cutscenes that uh, interfered with the missions. I know there was a few like cutscenes and stuff, but definitely not like that. Speaking of campaigns, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be looking at Men of War 2 tomorrow, probably. If not tomorrow, Saturday. That has a ton of campaigns in it. And like I said, it has a dynamic kind of thing. Very similar to what Gates of Hell did, which is a good thing. My boys move in further. Because I need to start shooting this central thing because it's spitting out drones. See the auto cannons have opened up. The boys will take on the drones, and uh, hopefully the majority of their turrets will still fire at the station. Got to monitor allows ships from the AIs to bail, not just from the player attacking them. Makes being a scavenger more worthwhile. And interesting, and a few satellite setups for hotspots. Um, I thought VRO had that in in it already. I know what Interworlds does. I'd be surprised if VRO didn't. saying I think I thought um, VRO had that in, in it all right they have that one down Missing one. I am missing one. 
Oh, yeah, right. Of course. Still trying to dock at the damn thing. Uh, maybe they change it for computing. You know, with the way the X4 does stuff compared to X3. You know what? I'm just going to get them. See what they do now. I'd love if they stayed in range of their other turrets now and fired all their weapons, but I think they're going to move back. So let me say for this. We're going to have you attack capital ships first, right? Left for too long from what I've seen. They get salvaged by other people. My name is spilling a there were more scavengers. Yaki take over abandoned ships and nobody else. Is it just Yaki? I don't know if it's just Yaki. Again, I play modded a lot, so... I could be very wrong. So the Phoenix there is on attack capital ships first with all of its turrets. But it's still going to move out still gonna move out and use its main guns. Shields are down. Excuse me. Oh, I've been getting hit by a cannon and I didn't notice it. Just got in range of a gamma cannon and did not realize it. <laughs> Free XP for the repair crews. Yeah, sure. I'll go with that. Yeah, just Yaki, I'd make the SE and board and capture. I thought they did. But again, like I said, I I play modded a lot, so... What's vanilla and what's modded kind of blurs. Also, my turrets are on shoot missiles first. Missiles have not been that big an issue, so I'm, I should put them on attack fighters first. Still not doing that. There's a drone shooting me. What mod gives you the extra turret settings? Um, this is actually just part of the beta. That's part of 7.0. 
if you're on 6.2, you can use chilled turrets. We'll do something similar. Turn off all our turrets. Turn them back on again. There you go. Thank you. Shoot the drone. Raise your own attack fighters first. No, still don't want to do it. Also, then I need to go back here. And switch that. If you like the missile defense setting makes the next to useless for anything as they can only you know go for the missiles and ignore anything else. Yes, but if they don't shoot the missiles, then you don't have any turrets left to shoot anything else. Telling them to attack the missiles first is literally saving your turrets so that they can shoot other things. That is why you tell them to attack the missiles. Because the missiles are generally not going for your hull. Not so good when the LXs with the torpedoes can keep on free firing on me. Again, if those torpedoes keep hitting you because your turrets aren't trying to shoot them. Well, you launch fighters after you get into the fight. You get into a fight and the enemy fighters are coming at your destroyer or whatever. Then you launch fighters. Your fighters will go after their fighters. And their fighters will continue attacking your destroyer. Oh, they don't attack when there's no missiles. Ah. That's odd. Because even with the mod, they should be doing that. But yeah, I get you. Well, if you don't have chill turrets, they won't do that. But if you put in chill turrets in 6.2, they should switch over to another target. Yeah. Kind of redundant? Yes. Fortunately, that is a thing. screen one second. Over about an hour and a half we haven't done much but at the same time we've done a lot. Getting there. How are you doing by the way? Eight minutes left on that, okay. Yeah, it's handy. It's not perfect, but it's handy. to start flying over there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. 
lights are flickering, so that's nearly dead. behemoths should be moving to phoenix are just gonna sit there because they've decided that's okay i can't see that other part of the target so it doesn't exist Must have enough credits for another decent arm titan, nice. Actually, um forgot about your man, didn't I? The term. So why won't you die? All right, so they've moved around. So let's move these guys around. They don't want to do it on their own. But we're still taking out HP, so... It's not like it's poked or anything. Then I take Factory going, which sells turret and shoot components, advanced electronics, which will be always in high demand in Ergon Prime. Yep. Still not dead. Yeah, I plan to do that kind of a setup as well. We're getting, we have like basic stations up and running, but I do want to do third components and stuff like that. All right, everyone is firing at this. It should only take a few seconds to kill. better on this system.
been tested? No. Come on. I didn't want to have to kill the Baronet. That being said, we should get this system, which will have the actual resources in it. is not contested by anyone or in silicon in it so we'll be doing silicon wafers in there you there plan build save that as your I, li I like VRO in general just for the balance changes. This bugs me. There we go. Um. Get a silicon mine up and running there. Uh, if this is contested, the Paranid can deal with the last two stations here. The screw you guys, I'm going home. I just realized. Yeah, you guys are all about to fly straight over that station. I do not want that. It was just an HQ gunships melt away a pirate battleship which was trying to plunder in the area. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> Half our fleet is uh, pirate ships. Speaking of, is there any around? that we can see. Ooh, good hit. Good hit. Basilisk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now you can go back to the carrier. He's still trying to dock. Don't know what the issue there is. Uh, okay, you guys already went back. Cool.
<laughs> Again, that Xenon ignored the two fighters chasing him just to get to the point at the top of the ship where he could come in and dive attack. Like, okay. Tested. God damn it. Um, our behemoth, did it go back into the fleet? Looks like it did. Lovely. We get the Cerberus are going to be docking here on intercept. Actually, defense. Making part of Delta. Joining squad. Uh huh. Cobras are still not being built. That's fine. Joining squad. Uh oh. Joining squad. Whoops. Um. You can trade for the Nomad. Are we researching? We are. Lovely. Get that done. Camping near the defense platform recently set up in Frontier Edge to farm up drops and... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those defense stations... Um, so in 7.0 there's new defense stations. There's one here. It's really needed. Um, I believe this this one, this one still got destroyed, but it, it held out for a while. And uh, and then there's the Aragon one here, which is doing huge work, just to stem the flow of Xenon. Also, there's a P I left in there. Ah. Paranoid seems to be attacking that station up there. That's fine. We'll let them do it. We'll uh, move in to destroy that last station in the other sector. Might as well just to be sure. I mean, you thought it was a Star Citizen Vulture. <laughs> a little bit chunkier than that. Vulture could probably land there. Might switch over to that soon, to be honest. It's a destroyer attacking that. Cool.
He's actually attacking it in a sensible way. I, I, I didn't want to target its engine. Odysseus, E. Gotta do a Paranid run. I love the Paranid. The two big prongs. Oh yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, you're going to be a while there, so by the time we deal with the hour station in here... Save. Excellent, the admin module is nearly complete by the looks of it. Entering Emperor's Pride 6. And there's no way that this system should be contested. Solar power plant. Just drifting our carrier. There's a Xenon Recon in the system. But they don't have any other stations. Right. Again, oh, you do have a couple of turrets on top. We want to be a little bit careful. You have half your turrets on top, basically. Um, we're over there, so we can come in this side and hit the drone thing with everyone. And then you do have your turrets on the bottom, of course. But you only have half of them as well. It's not too bad. Like, I want to give the order for the guys to go in and just attack on their own, but I don't know. Orson?
Oh, so the phoenix has finished docking. Okay. The behemoth now. We'll do it eventually. That's still being attacked. That's fine. the fire is still coming off of the uh, phoenix right we're gonna give uh these orders Let's see if it works get them to come in from slightly different angles what happens. Saving because if they get hit by Graviton cannons, I... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They should technically have the range to out, well, to outrange the Graviton Cannons. That Phoenix is going in very hard. Leave a lot of auto cannons, right? We'll see how they do, just on their own. Phoenix E. It is invisible. Okay. I was like, where is it? <laughs> There it is. Look at the range in the behemoth. What are you doing? Phoenix E. Oh, you're actually at the, about the same range, okay. Drones, my drones are gonna get wrecked if they do that. I didn't expect cargo drones to go out from this range. Okay, so they're all focusing on that uh, drone module, which will be great. Get rid of that as soon as possible. I'm gonna have to wait for these cargo drones to dock up. So, I'm not involved in this attack at all, right? You're doing fine so far. The problem is going to be when they've destroyed everything that's in their direct line of sight. They need to move. They hit the next module, and I, yeah, I, just, I don't think they will.
you're in system and give an attack order on a station, you'd expect, well, eventually your guys, if the station is not killing them, will be able to destroy the station. But if they can't move around, they hit the far side. That is never going to happen. Did move ever so slightly. Because they're letting the turrets fire? Wait, are my turrets disarmed? No. Go. Ooh, this is bad. I made a mistake. Mistake. Something hit us. Get him, Cerberus. Well, take the fire, Cerberus. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Preparing to dock. I'm just gonna leave. Hits. Don't take hits. <laughs> Do you remember those four Cerberus that I ordered? Yeah. We're taking hits. But I don't use Corvettes. Uh, 
That is why we don't attack stations with anything other than um, capital ships at long range. I'm just going to go in and do a flyby. I forgot the servers were coming up. Sorry, I forgot we have that large turret on the top. Sure, we can have him fire. They're dumber than the average I am. Yeah, unfortunately they have to follow the rules. They have to follow the rules. Um, lay over there. Lay over there. I just, uh, yeah, that should be fine. You're gonna fly over there, and then you're gonna fly over there. Giving them different attack. Um, they'd be dumb, too dumb to even know the rules, possibly. Fly that over there. over there because we have to manually move them so that they can actually shoot good luck with servers vanguards and all torpedo minutes carries over 100 torpedoes carries over 100 torpedoes but gets killed by two shots from uh, graviton cannons Doesn't matter how many uh, torpedoes they carry if they're dead. A single fighter can take down a pirate destroyer. <laughs> As long as you're piloting it. But the, the gunships are different though. The ships are slightly different to the uh, corvettes. Um, this guy's still trying to dock with the Nomad. Yes. It'll happen eventually. So anyway. Uh, Argon Prime. Bum, 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 bum. Different in general. Yeah, they have, well, they have, they have different. Um, yeah. Oh, look. We now own Emperor's Pride 6. Great. Now I've moved all of my destroyers. They can start turning and get their main guns back on target. That's sixty-one percent. That's not bad. I don't think I can get into range and shoot my weapons through the auto cannons without taking uh, graviton cannon fire.
Nope. Yeah, it's just hitting us on the nose. We can tank that for a while, but I don't want to. Oh yeah, true. Very much dependent on the turret. But the ship itself behaves differently. Yeah, what are you doing? You're lining up to come back in. Lovely. Over that direction a little bit. We got full coverage on all of these. Whoa, 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 Where are you going and why are you going down there? In what world are you going down there? Why? What the hell are you doing down there? That's, that's territory I don't like. That means if he gets a little bit too close, he gets hit by all of the gamma cannons. Alright, I like to see the guys firing their main cannons over there. Autopilot epically failed, yeah, pretty much. On a regular base. I mean, I, there's, there's no reason for him to go down there. He should be doing the exact same as everyone else, staying on the plane. Attacking. There it is. save this. Yeah, I wonder why shield are down, you ass. Well, at least we're in a position where we can take out the rest of the turrets now. Yeah, getting a lot of that today. And that. It's all the Graviton turrets. Sir. Neil Weast. You even spell the name right. God damn it. If anyone's under aware, unaware, my name is Niall, which in Irish is Neil, spelled differently. Have you not continued your orders yet? At least the shields are back up a, a decent amount. I didn't want to have to get involved at all, I just wanted them to do the thing. But uh, we have to change their positioning manually because they won't 
move, target new areas. Everyone else is firing though, so that's fine. Solar power plant. Oh, and also now that um now that I have destroyed the turrets on the bottom. I did specifically say on the bottom. Might as well get this firepower in here. Power plant. 33%. Once this is destroyed, we'll get um, everyone to collect all of the pilots. Behemoth. E. Why does it keep doing that? It won't open the F menu. Why will it not open the F menu? You have clear view on the solar panels, so yeah, you should start attacking that. Hopefully they're actually hitting in that. Looks like they are. Good. Oh god. That's not supposed to be looping over that. Cables. Terrans are in here mining. Bit of a stretch, but okay. I I hate so much that this is contested. Also, I kind of I don't care about your repairs. Go do the thing. Nope, can't do that. Cool. Okay, grand. <laughs> Another module gone. So you see now really this phoenix and the other phoenix behind should move around you know add an orbit my god to um why is he repositioning there 
like we've taken out all the large turrets on the bottom that's fine but why is he repositioning there when these guys should be repositioning to fire at this he had a clear line of sight on this module has decided to go over there but these two phoenix will not reposition love to understand say the gamma or graviton turrets on top of that were about to open fire on the behemoth but uh, it exploded so we're all good those two gamma cannons crap nope e sit crap That feckin' easy. they're on their rescue mission they are gonna fire off all their cannons we'll hopefully finish this damn thing off Solar power plant. oh my god stop stop it just Literally just pulled your arse out of the fire. Don't do that again. Up. Oh. Okay then. Alright, it won't let me use the F menu there for some reason. Um I swear to god, if you lose me my first phoenix that I ever got. Solar 
Can target the fucking guns. We're dead. I think we're gonna have some crew layoffs after this. Via the airlock. Also, your turrets are on attack all enemies and they're not attacking anything. Flushing out the competitors right now? Not exactly. Just making sure they have no more presence here. Just want to be sure that the Xenon have no presence in this system so that they don't try and rebuild. Because we've, we've cleared it out and taken it. Uh, we were going to take this, but it's contested. Damn, it doesn't say who it's contested with. I know it's the Paranet, but... I still like it to say that. Rescue, remove orders. No, rescue, that's your priority. Screw this, that's your priority. Get me those crew back. There is nothing in the build storage, so that's fine. Go away. Sir. Gather up all our Cerberus pilots that um, died valiantly doing nothing. My mistake. Uh. <laughs> it 
that they can all head up here. Need the Hydra and the Mamba on board. Mamba. Right, and our silicon refinery is going to start building. They are going to collect up all of our pilots and such. Uh, it looks like they're all dead or collected. Whisk Bang Index for playing Kingdom's End. You're gonna keep lurking. Hey, Whisk How you doing? And thank you for the follow. <laughs> Me. Entering Emperor's Pride 4. Alright, well, that's this area of the map pretty much safe. The next thing then is families then do we do we take out that or do we go for Tarkus Cascade? While of course building stations and making money. So I need to make 130 million to get the wharf. Fury. Hey guys, if you sent that fleet through, you could finish off those stations pretty quick. We could do, do a Holy Order run. <clears throat> do a Holy Order run and connect in with them. Um, oh, 
Oh, you can't get connect in with uh, cigars from here, can you? You have to go up through there. Hmm. I was going to say, do Holy Order run and get Terran weaponry. Uh, right, so we have that research done. To help us develop effective engine modifications, we must be sure to have the best in antimatter sensor technology. You may expect the best to come from the scientific world, but no. If you could, please gather the required materials. Finish the teleportation. Um, right, the turn is here, but it's not really doing anything. But he also has someone that's supposed to be doing... Oh, that was for Bill's storage. Uh... That would be a thing. And I'm still going to take the turn off there. Oh, the meter is in Heretic's End? Okay. <laughs> I know, might as well do that, right? Having sell stuff. Cerberus, Vanguard. Boys heading off to meet the fleet. I am actually I'm looking forward to getting in if the if any of the modders do get in the new home or three ships. I think they'll be able to get them in nicely into this. That looks pretty good in that color scheme actually. Recording running a lot longer than I should have. <laughs> 